after finishing the gymnasium in München with nine years of Latin and six years of ancient Greek, history and philosophy, I decided to become a physicist. The great theoretical physicist Arnold Sommerfeld, a university colleague of my late father, advised me to begin with an apprenticeship in precision mechanics. I was born on August 10, 1913, in Lorenzkirch, a small village in Saxony, as the fourth child of Theodor and Elizabeth Paul, née Ruppel. All in all, we were six children. Both parents were descendants from Lutheran ministers in several generations. In 1952, I was appointed professor at the University of Bonn and director of the Physics Institute, with very good students waiting for a thesis advisor. I grew up in München where my father has been a professor for pharmaceutic chemistry at the university. He had studied chemistry and medicine, having been a research student in Leipzig with Wilhelm Ostwald, the Nobel laureate 1909. So I became familiar with the life of a scientist in a chemical laboratory quite early. Not only is the universe stranger than we think, it is stranger than we can think. The first gulp from the glass of natural sciences will turn you into an atheist, but at the bottom of the glass God is waiting for you. What we observe is not nature itself, but nature exposed to our method of questioning. There are things that are so serious that you can only joke about them. Quantum theory provides us with a striking illustration of the fact that we can fully understand a connection though we can only speak of it in images and parables. An expert is someone who knows some of the worst mistakes that can be made in his subject and how to avoid them. Whenever we proceed from the known into the unknown, we may hope to understand, but we may have to learn at the same time a new meaning of the word, understanding. He atoms or elementary particles themselves are not real. They form a world of potentiality or possibilities rather than one of things or facts. Revere those things beyond science which really matter and about which it is so difficult to speak. We have to remember that what we observe is not nature in itself but nature exposed to our method of questioning. Whether we like it or not, Modern ways are going to alter and in part destroy traditional customs and values. My mind was formed by studying philosophy, Plato and that sort of thing. In classical physics, science started from the belief, or should one say, from the illusion, that we could describe the world or least parts of the world, without any reference to ourselves. Natural science does not simply describe and explain nature, it is part of the interplay between nature and ourselves. Only a few know how much one must know to know how little one knows. When I meet God, I am going to ask him two questions, why relativity, and why turbulence, I really believe he will have an answer for the first.
Many people will tell you that an expert is someone who knows a great deal about the subject. To this I would object that one can never know much about any subject. I would much prefer the following definition. An expert is someone who knows some of the worst mistakes that can be made in the subject and how to avoid them. Uncertainty is not, I don't know, it is, I can't know, I am uncertain, does not mean, I could be certain. I think that modern physics has definitely decided in favor of Plato. In fact the smallest units of matter are not physical objects in the ordinary sense. They are forms, ideas which can be expressed unambiguously only in mathematical language. The same organizing forces that have shaped nature in all her forms are also responsible for the structure of our minds. Where no guiding ideals are left to point the way, the scale of values disappears and with it the meaning of our deeds and sufferings, and at the end can lie only negation and despair. Religion is therefore the foundation of ethics, and ethics the presupposition of life. By getting to smaller and smaller units, we do not come to fundamental or indivisible units but we do come to a point where further division has no meaning. There is a fundamental error in separating the parts from the whole, the mistake of atomizing what should not be atomized. Unity and complementarity constitute reality. The structure underlying the phenomena is not given by material objects like the atoms of Democritus but by the form that determines the material objects. The ideas are more fundamental than the objects. The existing scientific concepts cover always only a very limited part of reality and the other part that has not yet been understood is infinite. An expert is someone who knows some of the worst mistakes that can be made in his subject and how to avoid them. I believe that the existence of the classical path can be pregnantly formulated as follows. The path comes into existence only when we observe it. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe and keep my